Hey YouTube, welcome back. Right off the bat, you're gonna have to excuse the voice. Uh, I'm obviously sick, but enough of this me. Okay, let's roll through the things real fast so we can get to past me. So first and foremost, make sure you're subscribed, okay? Join us, join us. We're very cool here. <laughs> and then while you're at it, subscribe to my main channel. That's linked down below along with the link to my Patreon if you would like to see full versions of the the reactions, like the whole thing, you know? Comment down below so I can chat with you. I've been horrible at keeping up with comments, but I'm also going to be better at that. <laughs> um, but no spoilers because otherwise my mod will... Uh, and like that's it on to the reaction i want to get into the episode because i am hoping that we maybe potentially may go back to vamp stuff this episode however i did have a little pep talk with myself so if we don't and we don't get to see my power duo it's fine it's fine it's fine i don't have too many thoughts left over from last episode wasn't my favorite but it did have some moments including seth green he's a moment and he's got his eye on willow and that's awesome i think i hope he's a good guy i mean i don't know I, he sings he's living out xander's fantasy <laughs> i hope he's a good guy so maybe we'll get to see him this episode too that would be great hopefully he gets to at least say hi to willow he needs to say to say hi i need to know more about him and so does she Maybe we'll see Sir Lurks a lot, because I don't think we, he popped up last episode. No, he didn't. So he's probably going to pop up, which is great, because then it's like... Bam stuff, maybe? Okay, let's get into this episode. My hopes aren't high. Yes, they are. That's a fucking bullshit lie there. Hi. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's just get into this episode so I can either get my heart filled or crushed. <laughs> Is she dying? Yeah, what is happening? I know we could go to the bronze and sneak in our own tea bags and ask for hot water. Hop off the outlaw train, Will, before you land us all in jail. Save that money. Is he like braiding her hair too? I can't see shit. It like kind of looks like he's braiding her hair as well. Or just twisting it. Maybe he doesn't know how to braid. Either way, I like it. Ooh. She a ninja? Oh fuck. Of course there's a wall. Oh damn, gay okay, well. Whatever. Nothing for her, I guess. Okay, first of all, are we running into a cemetery again? Does this town not have anything else? Anywhere else we could go? And also, did that stone just say dad? Like just dad, mother? You know, I like it. I do. I think on my stone, I just want hungry. Are they in a cult? I felt like cult behavior <laughs> from what I know of cults. <laughs> No, what are those outfits? With the things, the hood, and like the string. You know, we're just gonna go cult. It just feels right. And you laugh at everything he says. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I might need to practice mine. You could ask him for coffee some night. It's the non-relationship drink of choice. It's night coffees are great. Bitter like a relationship that way, but what's like a relationship? It's nothing I have. Xander coming in clutch with the sick shirt. Also, is there like no dress code at this school? 100% if I was wearing what Buffy is wearing, I would have been sent home. Actually, a lot of the time. Like we weren't, she wears a lot of like tank tops and stuff. Like we, we weren't allowed to. We may as well have just worn fucking garbage bags. Either way though, I feel like Neon is coming back in and I'm so ready. Not that it's any of your business, but I happen to be dating a Delta Zeta Kappa. Oh, an extraterrestrial. The fraternity. It will take you so many exciting places. Yeah, they're cute. I kind of want them to date. 
I think it's funny. Para of late is no excuse for tardiness or letting your guard down. Sorry. Are you going to be prepared if a demon springs up behind you and does this? Oh. Show him. No. I think you don't know what it's like to be 16 and a girl and the Slayer. Fair enough. No, no I, I don't. <laughs> or what it's like to have to stake vampires while you're having fuzzy feelings towards one? Ah. Uh, yeah. That one's rough. Well, here's a hard fact of life. We all have to do things we don't like. And you have hand-to-hand -hand this afternoon and patrol tonight, so I, I suggest you come straight here at the end of, of period six and, and you get your homework done. And don't dawdle with your friends. And, and don't think sitting there pouting is going to get to me because it won't. Sir? What the fuck? Roop, I'm going to need you to chill the fuck out. <laughs> what the hell? Also, didn't we? haven't we already been here before with these two? Haven't they already had this conversation? And I thought he agreed that, like, yeah, she's going to want to have a life. And now he's all moody again. <laughs> I wonder if he's, he might just be having a bad day. I should cut him some slack. Where's Cal? Maybe they could like go for tacos and he can chill the fuck out. Also like, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you okay? Jeez. Mm, that looks like bad news. Cordelia. Yep, that looks like bad news. <laughs> so uh, we're having a little get together tomorrow night at the house. And it's going to be a real. He looks like the same person twice. They just like copy pasted the same white guy. <laughs> are these the fraternity guys? Oh, they're so scary. Why are fraternities so scary? Maybe just because I'm Canadian and so they're not like I, my school didn't have fraternities, but I know that there are some. But like, like, are they the way that they're portrayed in like every movie in the US? Are fraternities like big elsewhere other than the US? Either way, they're scary. Fraternity boys are so scary too. So look at them. Ugh. Excuse me. The shivers. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I would I would love love to go. So who's your friend? She had it so good earlier. I believe we were dawdling here. This is like the only time where I'm like, yes, Xander, like, go grab her. I'm Tom Warner. I'm a senior at Crestwood College, and I, you know, I just feel like a complete dolt meeting you this way, so. Shut the hell up, Tom Warner. Mm, history stumps me. I have a hard enough time remembering what happened last week. No, nothing happened last week. Don't worry, I was there. Shit. I like that line. But my dude, she's a minor. Thanks for letting me ramble. You know, people underestimate the value of a good ramble. I hate him. He reminds me of a real estate agent for some reason. There's nothing wrong with real estate agents. I just don't like the way they talk. I hate these guys. Me too. Whatever they want just falls into their laps. Don't yeah. you hate these guys? Yeah. Yeah, with their charm lives and their movie star good looks and more money than you can count. I'm hating. I'm a Xander on this one. <laughs> You're on patrol, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. So can he stop being a little grumpy now? Because, like, obviously, she's good. She's good on the training. She's up to par. You're gonna have, like, lurking fraternity boys in here. You should stab them all with a stake. There's blood on it. I can smell it. Ew. God, can he ever just show up normally? Who said date? I, I, I never said date. Right. You just want to have coffee or something. Coffee? Night coffees. What do you think is happening? You're 16 years old. I'm 241. Yes. 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 I just, I can't. I can't get behind it. And I feel like it's going to happen. And I actually kind of feel like I'm already supposed to be shipping as they say, these two, and I'm still not, still not. And it's not just because he frustrates me more than, well, not quite more than Xander. Actually, lately, yeah, more than Xander. <laughs> it's just like, I can't, he is, he's too old and she's too young and she's a slayer and he's a vampire. And they haven't even like, in my opinion, had very many moments where I feel like they like bond or like each other. 
Like he just kind of shows up, sprinkles his little nuggets of information, pieces out, and like, are we supposed to think that he's real mysterious? Blech. But now, I, you know what? I kind of feel like she's going to go on the date with this fraternity guy. What the fuck was his name? Bob, Steve, Bill. Whoever that guy was, who's also too old for her. And then the angel's going to show up. And I, I don't know, save her somehow. This relationship just stresses me out because I'm waiting for my moment where I'm like, okay, I want them to be together. I don't. I don't. He's too old. I want out of this conversation. Listen, if we date, you and I both know one thing's going to lead to another. This isn't some fairy tale. When I kiss you, you don't wake up from a deep sleep and live happily ever after. No. When you kiss me, I want to die. Okay, that's a little too literal. <laughs> Let's not get that literal. What the fuck was that? Negative a thousand points. He got really aggressive there. And like, so yeah, red flag. Like, red flag. Why would I ever fucking ship this relationship? I'm mad because I know I'm supposed to, but that is so many red flags like in one first of all don't fucking touch me especially when i'm trying to walk away from you second of all don't threaten me excuse me excuse me oh my god i i'm this is not gonna be a good episode for angel not at all <laughs> just what the fuck just happened that was so aggressive why is everyone being so aggressive <sighs> Just, if everyone could just chill the fuck out. <laughs> if you don't go, I can't. And I'm talking about Richard Anderson and Anderson Cosmetics. <sighs> well, <laughs> you see why I have to go. Seems very important to you. Promise to keep our secret from this day until my death. I was baptized in blood I shall reign. This is scarier than dolls. But you know what? Okay, so is this just going to be about, like, the dangers? Like, is the fraternity guys the monster of the day today? Or are one of them going to be something scary? Like a creature of some kind? Maybe they all turn into giant rats. Be fitting. <laughs> Don't let go. Let you go? Okay, let me think. Um, no! I forgot about her already. You're just holding your prisoner? It's kind of dark. I have a feeling it's gonna get more dark. Fraternities, parties, young girls. Hmm. <laughs> nothing, as usual. A whole lot of nothing with Angel. Bummer. I don't Not nothing. He literally grabbed you and threatened you. That's something. Oh, Buffy, I don't think so. Frying pan fire? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, listen to him. Please. <laughs> Angel showed up. He could smell it. The blood? There's a guy you want to party with. <coughs> blood. My mom's not really feeling well, and she could probably use my help. Oh, I'll take an early pass this evening and um, one later on, but for the bulk of the evening. Oh, you should stay home with your mother. No. Well, say it. You lied. You lied to Giles. Yes, she will. <laughs> Look, yeah. There's going to be drinking and older guys and probably an orgy. Whoa, 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 rewind. <laughs> they hear this on TV. Don't wear black, silk, chiffon, or spandex. These are my trademarks. And don't do that weird thing with your hair. But what weird thing? And laugh at the appropriate intervals. <laughs> <laughs> you could belong to a fraternity of rich and powerful men in the bizarro world. Kiss. <laughs> Just kidding. Buffy's lying. Buffy's going to frat parties. I think you guys should stop her. We'll help Giles. I'm going to the party. I gotta keep an eye on Buffy. Those frat guys creep me. Me too. Maybe catch an orgy? If it's on early. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with his decision. Not necessarily his reasoning, but I'm I'm glad he's going. Didn't she say don't wear black? Is that black? Come on, Buffy. It's just a smidge. Those look good. Don't drink them. Oh my god, they have a girl tied up in the basement. I've complete like, that's the thing. Are they gonna fucking tie Cordelia up in the basement? Oh, just everything about this episode is so uneasy feeling. It's like kind of just like, 
Ugh. You know? I'm glad that Buffy didn't drink the drink, though. You don't drink drinks that are given to you. Always get your own. Or watch them be made. <laughs> Especially out of fraternity. Sir, what is wrong with the door? <gasps> are you going to a golf tournament? Why didn't you just wear what you had on at school? It was better. It was a better outfit. Don't. There's drugs in there, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Come on, sweetheart! Oh, yeah. Could I have this oh. What the hell was that? <laughs> Just charge at her like a bull? You think I'm too mature? <laughs> I talk too much. Have you picked up on that yet? Yeah. So high. Hey guys. New oh. New <laughs> New <laughs> oh no, they're gonna baptize him. <laughs> to maturity. I just feel like she's gonna get drugged. Pulling up their school newsletter for the past few months. To see if there's anything about missing, missing girl. She's in the basement. You are doll face! Keep her on dancing! Oh, Alright! Oh my god. Oh shit. I hate it. So she's gonna get locked up in the basement? Oh man. That's all good. Well, maybe Xander gets to save the day today in his wonderful new outfit. Get away from her! I wasn't doing anything. I saw what you were doing. I was just having a little fun. Well, she's not here for your fun, you pervert. She's here for the pleasure of the one we serve. Oh, fuck. I thought he was... For a split second, I thought he was a good guy. They're never good guys. <laughs> oh, fuck. This being sunny, Dale and all, I guess we can move out something good. <laughs> yeah. We got no creatures, though. It's just boys. <laughs> Brittany Oswald, Jr. at St. Michael's, disappeared a year ago. So did Kelly Purcell, sophomore Grant. A year. Yes, long time. Good idea, call Angel. We're gonna need all the help we can get. We can call him? <laughs> You're still butt ugly. <laughs> Stay. Ew, the fuck? I wanna go home. Who wants going home? Like one of them is different than the others. She's last. Last? For what? What does she mean different? <laughs> different how? I would scream. <laughs> I guess there's a party going on upstairs, but like Xander's there. So like it's even just like a little scream. He could hear it maybe he could come downstairs but what the fuck is he gonna do what is he gonna do he's there's a lot of them down there I hate to say it but we might need angel <laughs> and he can eat them all he can have a little feast a little treat because all of these ones are not good people so i feel like that would be like an exception <laughs> okay maybe not maybe not what are you doing <laughs> oh sorry the reflection thing that you don't have. It would be trippy. How do you shave? South wall, that's near the college. Probably doesn't, right? Because you don't grow. So, like, his hair probably never grows. I would assume that would include facial hair. It's a good question, but I think he probably just doesn't have to. Would he ever need to see himself? Maybe only if he's, like, pulling beige articles of clothing out of his closet so he could see how bad that looked. Let's get out there. Master is there with Cordelia. They went to a oh, she lied to Rue. house. She lied to me. Mm -hmm. You're killing her with the pressure. I mean, she's 16 going on 40 and you let him have it. You don't have time for a cup of coffee. I don't feel better now and you've got to help Buffy. <laughs> Not a girl, Willow. Still there. We have no power. 
no place in the world except that which you give us. What are they, some kind of cult or something? Yeah, psycho yes. cult. <laughs> He's talking about us? Do you see anyone else chained up in here? <laughs> I mean, I get it. I'd be annoyed too, but like, they're new here. What's down there? Come forth and let your terrible countenance look upon your servants and their humble offering. We call you. Do they have something caged up? I don't think we go to it. I think it comes to us. Yeah. Oh! Another one of those, is the praying mantis? Oh my god! What the fuck was that? <laughs> It looks like a paper mache snake. <laughs> I don't think I like it. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I hope that like we this gets defeated before that poor girl gets because there's always someone who dies. And obviously it's not gonna be Buffy or Cordelia. So like maybe this time, just with this once, we can also save the random new person we just met. <laughs> Do we have to sacrifice one every episode? Let our fortunes increase. And on the 10th day of the 10th month, <sighs> he shall be unhunkered. Oh, he's long. He's got a whole body behind him. A bunch of girls are missing. The Zeta Kappas may be involved in Buffy. Are you wearing makeup? No. Huh. <laughs> I think Buffy's still in sight with Cordy. <laughs> I would have just said, yeah. The car's still here. They may be involved in some kind of ritual. With the missing girls. With Buffy. Okay, that is the guy you want to party with. <laughs> okay, but Xander, good job. That was a good plan. You don't want her. Look at her. She's all skin and bones. Half an hour later, you'll be hungry. I told you to shut up. Oh. Oh Honestly, though, I feel like he can't really eat much. He got a little mouth. I don't know. Is he supposed to eat them whole? He just kind of looks like the type of monster who needs like pre-cut food. Is he supposed to be a snake though? Snakes can fall like fucking swallow things whole. Like whole human beings. It's true. You can look it up. I have. A lot. Numerous times. And it's, it's scary every time. <laughs> but I don't know. His like little mouth doesn't scare me. Yet. <laughs> Let me in, I don't want to miss the, uh... Come. You know what. Where are they? Oh! Oh! Something's going on upstairs. Go! Go! Ooh, I don't like his little, like, body movements. <laughs> Ooh, there's more of him. Get him, Xander. <laughs> Chop him, I think. I don't know. Yeah, like with a sword. You're going to jail for 15,000 years. Um. Where are they going? <laughs> are, the, are the police there? I drive you too hard because I know what you have to face. From now on, no, no more pushing, no more prodding. Just um, an inordinate amount of nudging. <laughs> Surprising number of corporations whose chairman and founders are former Delta Zeta Kappas are suffering from falling profits, IRS raids, oh, and suicides in the boardroom. <laughs> Starve a snake, lose a fortune. Boy, I guess the rich really are different, huh? Have you heard from Angel? When he got so <laughs> mad about you being in danger. She's like, anyway. Does every conversation we have have to come around to that freak? Hey, man, how you doing? I'll let you know.
I just don't get it. I don't get it. He's literally saying to her that it's not a good idea to stay away. So then just, just so stay away then. Plus he should probably apologize for like being so fucking aggressive. Damn, I really want to be on board with it. And I'm just not. I can't. Oh my god, you guys. What if I never get behind it? What if I never get behind it? It's gonna happen. It's gonna be forced onto me. And I just I just don't know if I'll ever get there. Anyway. <laughs> that episode was a tough one. It's heavy. Heavy topics. And very realistic topics. Aside from the paper mache snake. I mean, we can make a paper mache snake. But you know what I mean. Also, it was a little weird that like, I, we, I, we didn't even know. Not weird. Just different, maybe. That we didn't really even know what the creature was until like the very end. So I did kind of find it. Like, I was like, I guess I was just in a constant state of like, what the fuck is gonna happen? <laughs> Which is not awful. But it is kind of like more interesting when it's like, you're introduced to the monster of the week at the beginning or like closer to the beginning of the episode and then you can kind of like build up to the end i guess plus the buffy fighting scene wasn't very long which does make sense she was drugged and all she had to do was chop him in half <laughs> snakes are easy to defeat if you have a sword handy and xander had another great episode he was on it i was with him that whole way the whole way I was like, yeah, Xander and I were on the same page today. Definitely. And he was like ready to just go in there. He had a plan and everything before they even showed up. Like, yeah, appreciate. Super, super appreciate. And a neon green shirt to top it off because we know the importance of his wardrobe to me. <laughs> we did not get to see Willow's new boy. We didn't get to see Mr. Green. Okay. And we didn't get to see my duo. You're really gonna introduce me to these two incredible vampires and then not let me see them for two weeks? Two weeks? I hate this show. No, I don't. <laughs> but I will see you all in the next one.